WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Not much has changed since the end of the show, but let's just go through it regardless. ES Mini off about 0.66%, the Russell off 1.85%, NQ down 0.89%, and the Dow futures off nearly a full percentage point. Gold up 1.81%, silver up 4.4%. Wow. Love seeing that for silver, guys. Copper, we're still at four dollars and seven cents on the contract. We'd love to see that get uh, some movement going, but it remains to be seen. Steel Dynamics uh, off almost a percentage point today at one forty-seven. Uh, I haven't taken a look at this stock in a few days, but I wonder if kind of a new trading pattern is forming in it. Um, no, we're just going up on some significant or an insignificant volume, huh? Interesting. I'll have to take a look at that a little bit more going forward. One of the things I wanted to bring to your guys' attention is that there's a cybersecurity company called Rubrik uh, that is funded pretty heavily by Microsoft. Uh, they, they basically do kind of data cleansing. Uh, if you're storing your data incorrectly, it'll let you know and try to make alterations to it. Uh, they are going public soon. Now, the financials on these guys are weird. Um, it's filed to go public. It's going to be RBRK. Uh, they basically had a net loss of about 354.2 million, and that was up from 277.7 million a year earlier. However, they have some major backers, um, and cloud management, of course, is going to be the future going forward. Kind of be, you know, wait to see what happens with that, I would say, but you're probably going to hear a lot about that. It's backed by Microsoft. Uh, and honestly, it's okay. So this is what this is the big thing, right? So Microsoft runs Azure Public Cloud. It seems like they're going to be a vendor for a lot of it, spending about two hundred twenty million dollars um, over the next ten years with these guys, which is pretty uh, impressive to say the least. Uh, we can take a look as well before we uh, kind of move on. I had a friend ask me about Boeing, and this is now the time to buy Boeing since we've gone down so significantly. And my answer is uh, probably not, right? I mean, I think I think the CEO has done some weird stuff with the company. I, I don't think pushing for hyper profitability on companies like this gets you anywhere good, right? Um, now that may go contrary to some philosophy, I suppose, but look, this is what happens, right? You, you start cutting corners and you get bad, bad press. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for joining me. Join us tomorrow for the Morning Mark kickoff with Tommy O'Brien and then regular programming throughout the day. Thank you.